Okay guys, so let's continue on with the GUI tutorial series. What we're going to be working today is the name input. So if we just go into scene and 2D, scroll out a bit, actually a lot, and let's select our input field. So, uh, yeah. Basically, this is going to be a really simple tutorial, by the way. The only thing we have to do is go here, go add component, script. Let's see new script, Java, of course, as always. And, I don't know, let's call this uh, input name. This spot right I did, now it really matters. Okay. So let's start this off now. Oh yeah, and I should probably actually, just to show that this works, uh, add something to this canvas also. Some kind of text. Okay. So. Uh, let's line it with this. Change the size a bit up. I mean, you don't, you're not going to use it for the same purpose I do. But I just want to show you that it works. And let's make it white so you can see it in this view. Okay, and the default is going to be empty. Okay, so now you don't see anything. Uh, let's go back to the script we made. You can delete the function start part. Okay, now first we want a variable called username. I mean this is because I use it for the username but you can use it for any other kind of input like if you're making a riddle or something like that but yeah and we're gonna make this of type string I think it has to be a capital S yep it does okay and then we want another variable also go var uh, and I'm gonna need my input field and the field of type, now you have to write this out, unity engine dot ui dot input field there we go and then I end it off with a semicolon and the third variable, actually because of the text we need to go var input field no not input field, var Let's just call it name display. And again, I'll just copy over the Unity Engine.ui part. All you need to do is change the input field to text. So dot text. Okay. Now in the function update, what we want to do is just set this to username is equal to input field dot value. Now, if uh, this is actually if you want to store the username itself somewhere, so you can use it later on. Actually, the scene closes in that because you would have like a main info or script or something like that that would be to your main game object. That I think, yeah, I like attached to this object. But for this the purpose of this story, I'm not gonna do that. So yeah, let's see the variables we need to attach. Input field and text. But yeah, uh, if you don't want to store it, you just want to display it uh, on the screen, like while we type it and stuff. You can just go to, uh, and set this to. Uh, wait, I'm just gonna show you right now. Like I'm gonna go uh, name display dot text is equal to username. Now I can do this because it stores the it already as username. But if you don't want to store it and just display, just change this also to input the dot value. But yeah, let's check out if this code works. Takes a bit to run it for some reason, maybe because I'm recording actually. I have some stuff open in the background, but here we go. So you can see, because we've put it in the update function, it's actually changing uh, as I type. And there is a limit actually to it. I mean, I, there isn't a limit to the 
uh, length of the input itself, but yeah. I think there actually might be something. Yeah, there's a character limit right here that you can set. I usually leave it on 16 because that's what most websites and stuff use for their names. But something else you might uh, add. Let's just find, for example, let's take the... Let's take some of the buttons. Let's, for example, copy this button, paste it. Move it over here. Okay, let's just move it a bit lower. Okay, like so should be good. I'm gonna change the name into confirm. Now this is if you don't want it to like display while this all of the stuff is happening. So what I'm gonna do now is go to here and change it from function update to function name input. So now it won't do it once every frame, like click if there's a change. And let's actually change this to confirm. So yeah. Uh, and another thing I'll actually do here is wait, can I do it like this? Enabled equals false. I think I could. But don't quote me on that. Okay. Not giving out any errors. Let's go to the confirm button. Add something. Uh, drag the input into here. Functions. Input name. Wait. Yeah, it's input name. And name input. So. Let's test it out now. As you can see, it's not updating. Whoops, sorry about that. But when I press confirm, it should update and you can't change it anymore. So yeah, basically, this is both if you want to use it with the button or just like real time updating. And also if you want to store the information somewhere or not. I mean if you don't want to store it, just change name display equals input dot input field dot value. And that's all you have to do. Anyways guys, that would be all for this tutorial. I'm not sure what it will be covering in the next one. But after I actually finish this GUI main menu series, I'm gonna start working on a GUI pause menu series, so you can look uh, uh, look out for that. But until next time, see you guys. Bye.